The Angus breed is known for cavities, superior growth, and milking ability. In Practical Applications, Genetic Research Director Sally Northcutt explains how cow-calf producers can use growth trait EPDs to target genetics beneficial to their herds. EPDs are a selection tool to assist cattle producers in making directional genetic change in their herd. EPD stands for Expected Progeny Difference. It's a prediction of how future progeny are expected to perform when comparing two animals or a particular animal to a breed. Most commonly, we see these tools used in sire selection. As cattle producers use these tools, it's helpful to have a basic understanding of their meaning and how to apply them in your herd. Keep in mind that EPDs do not predict actual performance, but only predict performance differences. One of the foundation components of EPDs is contemporary grouping. A contemporary group is a set of animals managed alike, treated alike, same gender, exposed to the same environmental conditions. This is a foundation component in arriving at the EPDs that you see in publications or on the website. This is particularly important when we're utilizing phenotypic data, birth weights, weaning weight, yearling weights, that the contemporary group is properly defined, which gives you the best EPDs to use in your herd. If we summarize the growth traits for this particular example and compare bull A and bull B for birth, weaning, and yearling, you can see the advantage for lighter calves at birth was for bull B with an EPD of zero. In contrast, Bull A excelled in weaning weight and yearling weight with an advantage of 10 and 20 pounds respectively. Another comparison that you can do is if you'd like to see how those bulls compare to the non-parent breed average, you can access those tables on the web. In this particular example, Bull A, for example, is above breed average for birth weight EPD. Now this probably isn't a concern for you unless you're mating that particular sire to first calf heifers. Keep in mind that for weaning and yearling weight EPDs, you have to determine the appropriate or optimal level of growth in your herds. Selecting for the highest or most extreme EPD within the breed is not necessarily ideal for every producer. To learn more about breed averages, you can access particular categories of animals and their averages such as non-parent bulls, non-parent heifers, main sires, supplement sires, and current sires for the American Angus Association and access those breed averages as provided on our website. Visit angus.org to learn more about Angus selection tools.